Hey guys, welcome to this week's OMG Tuesday. We are playing with green transforming lipstick from Lipstick Queen. The lipstick itself is is dropped. <laughs> Hold on. And I'm back, quick recovery. This guy right here, I love the name, Frog Prince. It is a transforming lipstick. It kind of reminds me of something back in the day that you would pick up at the drugstore that would be like the equivalent of a mood ring and it would kind of change your lips into like a bright pink. But this one is a more sophisticated version. It is selling everywhere like crazy. I saw it on Nordstrom.com. I didn't have time to order it because I was like, I wanna, I wanna film this now, like right now. And um, at Ulta near me, they were sold out. They were sold out at like five different Ultas. I had to drive all the way an hour away to get this. So long story short, I went to really incredible lengths to actually get a hold of this. It is really popular right now, which is also why I really wanted to try it because I think this could be really cool. It looks a little intimidating, but Lipstick Queen is a brand that is really luxurious. A lot of people rave about it. It has its own cult following and I've never tried too much from them. So I'm excited to give this a whirl. This is $25, so it is not WTF crazy, like $90 lipstick, but this is not drugstore. It's just something that I thought was really cool and different that I wanted to put to the test on camera. I also picked up the gloss. This looks really intense, actually. Like, uh, okay. It actually like swatches green. I also picked up the blush. So I'm not wearing any blush right now. I'm not wearing any lipstick. We're gonna get to all of it together. This could be awful. It kind of intimidates me. It just, it's like green and it's cream. So, you know, but we'll play. We'll, we'll figure it out together. The cream blush is 24. The lip gloss and lipstick are 25. And then because lipstick is not a 12 hour wearing product, I mean, you get a couple hours of wear. And then if you're like me, like I'm sitting here eating like vegetables and hummus and drinking water, and I know that I'm gonna have to reapply the product. I thought instead of just reapplying the gloss and the lipstick, which I probably will do first, um, but later in the day, I thought I would do a check-in and I would try out this guy. <laughs> because, you know, we have a green lip gloss, we have a blue lip gloss, that one turns pink, this one turns mauve, and then we have the Lipstick Queen Hello Sailor lipstick. Same deal, we got a blue lipstick, we got a green lipstick. Let's just get going and see how this actually works and looks on the lip. Let's see how this actually swatches first. That's trippy. All right, so this one immediately, look at this. What in the heck? This one is like having to kind of turn pink, but this one is like going on pink. Okay. I am getting used to new teeth right now. If I'm talking weird, it's like a whole big thing. Let me just throw it out there that I had veneers put on when I was 18 a way long time ago, and it was just time to get them redone. Even though I really liked them, it was time. Like you have to get them redone. You're supposed to every 10 years. Um, but yeah, I'm going through a little bit of drama with how I feel I'm talking and it's just that's just life so I'm just throwing it out there they're not completely done yet they're not the way I want them done yet but uh, if you notice like whoa her smile is different or what's going on trust me I'm a little bit traumatized by it myself um, but you know it'll it'll get better it's fine all right let's go in with the green lipstick first Okay, I can kind of see why this is like selling out. That is really pretty. Why am I breaking out right here? What the F? Dude, that's the other thing. I swear to God, you go to the dentist and you like have your mouth hanging open for several hours and people like touching around your mouth. I'm like breaking out right here, right here, right here. I cannot even believe that I kind of love that. I thought this might be like a little bit like, oh, it's kind of like a balm and it kind of turns a little bit pink, but this is really cool. And it feels like butter. Uh -huh, I like it. I am gonna put some gloss on top of this.
Mm, I don't know how I feel about that. I feel like it was better without the gloss is my vote. This is prettier in the packaging. Like you look at this and you're like, ooh. It has little teeny tiny micro glitter flecks in here, like little teeny tiny ones. And I can, I can kind of feel it. It's turning into more of a rosy pink now, but it was going on a little bit dark. According to your pH, the lipstick and gloss are going to adjust to your perfect pink. So it is supposed to adjust to a flattering tone for you specifically where this will look a little bit different on everybody depending on your pH. Uh, that's kind of cool. This also has shea butter, vitamin E. It does feel very, very moisturizing. I have to say straight out the gate, I prefer the lipstick. I just think the lipstick on its own was really, really pretty, a little bit brighter. I feel like this is a little bit darker and just not, not as flattering for me. I don't know. Um, I'm gonna wear this for a while and then I may take it off and put the lipstick right here back on by itself because I was really enjoying this one on its own. Let's play with the blush. I'm just gonna use my fingertips. We're just gonna go in the good old fashioned way and I'm gonna warm this into the apples of my cheeks with my fingertips. So I'm going in, grabbing a little bit. Oh, that's cool. Look, it's like pink straight away. I'm just going to Dab. You guys know cream blush is not my absolute like number one fave, but some people prefer it. So I always want to give you guys options. I don't want to always review things that are like just what I love. This is pretty, but it's not like wowing me. I don't think this is worth $24. This is really cool, but I, uh, I'm i torn. I'm going to have to wear this for a while and see how I feel in a few hours. It's pretty, but I don't know that it's worth $24. Uh, we will be back in a little bit and I will try the other blue items. And we're back and I have had snacks and I have uh, basically worn off all of my lipstick. And the nice thing that I'm noticing it leaves a really nice stain. So even after you have, you know, had a sip of water and you're drinking your coffee or you're having your snack or having like a big huge turkey burger like I usually do and like all my lipstick completely is just like gone. Um, this leaves behind a pretty significant stain and it's actually a very pretty stain. And the other thing is my lips feel really hydrated. So I'm gonna say that I am loving the lipstick. I'm gonna put more on right now. It's really smooth. It feels like lip balm. It's a really just nice, like it doesn't feel creamy and wet like a lipstick. It just feels like really balmy. And I like that. I think it's really, really pretty. <laughs> the gloss, no. I don't like the gloss. It takes too long for it to warm up. Even when I was doing swatches, I was like, come on, turn, change color. Um, it just kind of is really dark, a little bit uneven and not my favorite, but I love the lipstick. The blush at first, when I was putting it on, I was like, I don't like this. And I was like, okay, time out. Do you not like it because you're not a fan of cream or what is the deal? So I kind of gave it a little bit of time. Initially, when I was looking in the mirror, I was like, no, I like it. And then about an hour ago, I'm like, no, I don't like it because it's kind of patching off a little bit. Um, and wearing down a little bit funny. I'm really picky about makeup. You guys know that. That's why I do videos like this. So if that is too harsh, I'm sorry. Um, just not a fan of the blush or the gloss so far, but highly, highly recommend trying out the Frog Prince lipstick. And I'm gonna be back in a little bit. We'll see how this wears down again. And I will try the blue lipstick and gloss. All right, I'll see you guys in a little bit. And it is now about 7.30. I just stuffed my face with pizza and there is still a nice stain. I really like that. I like that there is this nice pink kind of a stain. 
I'm into it. Like I could just put like a clear gloss on top or, you know, just put even more on if I wanted to. But actually what we are going to do right now is play with this guy. I already did the inserts, like I swatched this and did close-ups and I was kind of surprised that it just actually looks blue. Like it doesn't really change into any kind of a different color. Whereas this one, the second you put it on, it's like just immediately pink. You don't see any green, you just see pink. So I'm a little bit concerned, but you know what? We're going in, we're trying it out. Blue lipstick that is supposed to change into a mauve color. Let's do this. I mean, I can see quite a bit of blue. I'm gonna say pass. The hell. I mean, I kind of see a little bit of the purple thing going on. But what is this? Do we see purple mauve or do we see just blue? I kind of just see blue. Uh, really love the green one, not feeling this. And even if it changes into a more pretty mauve, I don't think it's really worth the high ticket price for something that you have to kind of like wait and like let's wait until it morphs and changes. The only one that I'm really loving out of this whole collection is that green Frog Prince lipstick. Now, I do like the formula enough that it makes me curious about Lipstick Queen lipsticks in general because it just feels so nice on the lips. Um, the blue one, no, the glosses are kind of gritty and a little bit too colorful for me. Like it just, I still see blue. And I kind of felt the same way with the green one where I would put it on and I'm like, I still see green and it's just not, not my favorite thing. This was something online that really jumped out to me that I was like, ooh, I really want to try that. And you know, I found one thing that is staying right here on the vanity that I can grab and put on, you know, throughout the day really easy. It leaves a really pretty stain. It's kind of no makeup makeup and I like it. So, you know, I'll take it. One good, a bunch not so great, but you know, that's where it's at. This is OMG Tuesday. I hope you guys enjoyed this look at Lipstick Queen. Let me know in the comments below, what do we want to see next? I have a few ideas. Um, I have been looking online at some really like bizarre beauty things and I think I'm gonna go in that direction of like really weird things. If you have a link or you see something that's like crazy, even if I have to order it from somewhere outside of the US, please let me know. I'll put it to try on camera. And uh, yeah, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed me playing with these crazy lip items and I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Mwah.